Welcome back, everybody. It's your boy, Joe. Welcome to Grave Uncut. I uh, just wanted to talk to you guys for a quick sec about uh, something that's been becoming an issue lately. Um, up here, I'm going to have an image of somebody, and I'm going to discuss exactly who he is and what exactly he's trying to do. That's going to pretty much affect, if everything is pushed through, how it's going to affect the internet as we know it. So the gentleman over here, his name is Ajit Pai. He is the head, com I believe, the head commissioner of the FCC. And if you don't know what the FCC is, it's the fer the Federal Communications. Something like that. I'll, I don't remember the exact acronym for it, but he is trying to put an end to net neutrality. He's trying to kill net neutrality. And if you don't know what net neutrality is, it is basically our right. To have the free internet so that the internet service providers or like other companies like AT&T etc etc can't control the speed of your internet they can't control what websites and what apps you can use which is gonna basically stagger us especially a lot of us that are trying to make a living off the internet a major major issue because the big issue is they slow down websites like YouTube. If they can control the speed of your internet, if they can control the quality of the videos and stuff that you watch, you're not necessarily going to want to watch. Now, granted, a lot of bigger YouTubers may not be too concerned on this. But the thing is, it's going to affect a lot of us, especially those who are in fairly low-income areas that can't really afford to pay for internet and stuff like that, but... It, the whole thing is net neutrality is basically our right to have free internet. Well, a free to use internet, so to speak. And not have it controlled by big corporations. You gotta realize, you get rid of net neutrality, you get rid of the ability to actually build businesses. Well, not necessarily get rid of it, it just makes it extremely fucking difficult. And I mean extremely difficult. And I mean it's hard enough now uh, doing anything uh, business related. Especially YouTube since they've changed their guidelines and their algorithm. It's a mess. YouTube's a mess as it is without freaking net neutrality being in, under fire. But unfortunately, again, I'm keeping his image here just so you guys remember exactly who we're dealing with. And what he's trying to do. I'm not trying to get political. I'm not trying to get into any nonsense like that but this is just a reminder of who exactly is getting the putting the internet under fire the internet under fire at least the internet that we're used to under fire so he is trying to basically kill off net neutrality net neutrality is necessary especially if anybody wants to make any business especially if anybody wants to promote anything on the internet so if you have companies like Comcast, Verizon, AT&T, uh, Time Warner, Spectrum, whatever it may be, if they get control of your internet as far as controlling your speed, they say they're not going to do it, but let's face it, they're going to do whatever they can just to make a quick buck. And their potential, they can potentially basically give you spe like certain internet plans where, oh, if you spend this much, you can get a certain amount of broadband. If you spend this much, uh, you can access to certain the, this website, that website, all social medias, all along that line. They, they'll have come up. They can, they have the potential to come up with several different packages that can cost you. Meanwhile, the internet should be a free space for everybody. It shouldn't cost anybody to like use the internet. So, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. To give you guys a little bit more information on as far as what net neutrality is. Especially regarding what's currently going on. And what you can do to actually at least make an attempt to put a stop to this. Uh, I mean, you can definitely like try to write a letter to your uh, political figures in whatever state you live in. And they can have a say in the matter as far as putting an end to what... Mr. Pi over here is trying to do. Well, anyway, uh, 
again, I wasn't planning on making this like a super long video. Um, I will try to get another video out by next week. This is just basically me closing off the video at this point. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. So if anything, if you guys can, just definitely read up on the website. Get your information. Educate yourselves on what net neutrality is and what exactly is going on. Because it can affect everybody. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you like, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and favorite the video, and definitely share it, especially just to get the, just to spread the word around. Because this is a major issue where a lot of people can get affected, and a lot of people that have dreams to start certain businesses can get affected. But definitely do your part. I know, I know damn well I'm gonna do whatever I can. This is just me basically spreading the message because I think the uh, bill for the net neutrality thing is supposed to take. Of, it's supposed to be in Congress and everything or whatever the whole thing is uh, by December 14th if I'm not mistaken uh, so definitely get your word in uh, tell your congressman, tell your political figures of power in whichever state you may be in and just do your part, Make the, keep the internet free, keep the internet where it's supposed to be everybody should be, everybody should be able to have a voice Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Make sure you favorite. Share this video. I, I cannot pressure you. I can't. I'm not trying to pressure you guys, but I'm trying to tell you spread the word and let's kill. Let's kill this uh, net neutrality killer. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for watching Grave Uncut, and let's keep the internet how it's supposed to be and how it's always been.